Well, the car saga continues. I uh, had my dad over tonight to look at oil situation in my car because, as you may or may not know, it's been dripping rather heavily. Hello, ferret. But yeah, uh, so the oil was quite low. Uh, me not knowing much about cars whatsoever, he helped me figure out what type of oil needs to go in the car and I went out to the gas station and bought a liter of it to put in there so that I can drive it around enough to get it to the garage or whatever small trips I need to make. Oh. Guest star. Hello. And she's gone. But uh, yeah, so tomorrow Dad and I are going to actually take it out to a garage finally and see what they find and we'll see how it compares to the last garage I took it to that I wasn't sure about when they uh, gave me the results because they said it was most likely one thing when I brought it in and then made no mention of it at any point after that. I don't know if they just fixed something else entirely or what. So anyway, we'll find out. Hopefully we'll actually get the darn thing fixed. Wish us luck. Update on the car situation. So, uh, today I had to leave work a little bit early and I brought it into a garage with my dad to get a second opinion on what might be going wrong. And it turns out that the new transmission lines that the old garage put in were leaking. So the new garage that we went to today suggested that we just go back to the original garage because we would be under warranty. So we did do that and it should hopefully be fixed now for free which is nice uh hi Belle. thank you for rubbing me it's still dripping a little bit when i brought it home but i think that's just because a bunch of excess oil from before was all over the place so if it's still dripping in a week or two then i'm not going to be happy but it's still under warranty so i won't have to pay anything good lord i really hope this is the end of our car troubles for now or forever i mean you know, get lucky for the rest of my life, that would be great, but I'll settle for now, for now. Oh, oh, fiddlesticks smell something delicious. Do you smell our supper? Fiddlesticks, why would you even like sushi? He probably likes the crab part of the sushi, or would like it if he could eat it. He'd probably hate like the ginger and the soy sauce and the vegetables and the pretty much everything else. Cheers. Put it in a blender and feed it to me, please. Look at all the fur you left all over the couch. Yeah, thanks, bud. It appears we have some kind of standoff happening here. Mouthful, you have your own water. Why do you always have to go after her water? You decided it's not worth it? No, <laughs> you're just gonna look all sad. <laughs> I think they're playing now. <laughs> well, well, you should do something fun. It sort of is almost impressive how much they don't understand each other. It's really funny. Belle? Why are you tipping over your water dish? I don't know if she's trying to push it away from Malfoy or if she's playing with it because I don't know. Maybe the ferret plays with it? I think she's just trying to push it farther away from her. Oh, a chew weasel. <laughs> you tell her. Yeah. All right, yeah, she's a lot bigger than you. Hmm. <laughs> you getting frustrated? Go out the other way. There we go. See, she'll get you from that way. Please don't bite her tail. <laughs> Did you protect your bull bell? <laughs> She's like, that's right, keep walking. Oh no! There you go, Belle. Now you can drink in peace and get that really funny, like, retroflective look on your face. 
while you're drinking, like, what could you possibly have to think about your cat? Whew, it's warm. It is warm. For some reason, I'm very warm, although it's actually kind of cool outside. Yeah. It's so weird, like... I guess our apartment is just well insulated and holds all the heat in. Yeah, what was it? It was like only 20 when we got up this morning, right? Mm -hmm. Which is super weird. Anyway. Well, changing in the seasons. It's gonna happen sooner or later. Mm -hmm. On a happy note, today was day one of your week-long indication. Yeah. Yeah, and what did you do? Uh, well, I didn't work on anything. <laughs> and did we, we, to be more precise, we did absolutely nothing. Have you... Had either of us even mentioned what the indication is on the vlog? No. Because that might be a good start. <laughs> right here. But yeah, so I, I booked off some time uh, to work on my indie games and stuff because a, a lot of the time it's hard to find the, the energy after work to work on personal projects. So I wanted to de dedicate some time and plan some stuff out. Today was actually a day off for me though. Like I actually spent the day to relax. But uh, for the next five days I'm going to be focusing on work and to try to put in a good number of hours each day and hopefully get something cool out of it. Mm. But yes, I am calling it my indication and I'm thinking of if it goes well I might try and make it an annual thing but obviously yeah, that's totally up in the air because I just came up with this. So yeah, you're here for almost an entire ooh, week. Yeah, a day short of a week off. So it's pretty good. Yeah. It just also so happens that Labor Day is on Monday too. Which get, which means that I can take a slightly longer vacation without taking more vacation time. Hmm. Very clever. I'm just gonna make my floating head disappear out of the corner now. You guys, some of the leaves are already starting to change. Mm. Also, it's been a while since I filmed in the car. Oh yeah, it's been a while, hasn't it? Yeah, the car's pretty much better, except that we need to change some brake pads around and right now whenever Kuma starts to press on the brake it just kind of shrieks awkwardly and I feel like I need to screen, like put a, a what do you call it, one of those things that like uh, decals that you can put on your back window that's just like apologizing for the shrieking <laughs> to everybody, <laughs> just sorry. <laughs> but yeah, the leaves are starting to change, those one look, they look yellow already. What the hell? It's September, it's fine. No, the weather doesn't change just because it's September. It needs to stay green a little while longer. <laughs> oh god. What's worse, the worst thing about the summer is that my foot is just, it was injured right around the beginning of spring. Right in time for it to be wonderful and for me to want to go outside and then not only did I not get to do as much as I really wanted? The summer also went by really fast for some reason. Like, I feel like this whole year has gone by really fast. Yeah. So this is worse. Except, of course, winter feels like a year long. <laughs> like, it's six months. That's... <sighs> yeah. Well, I love fall, but literally the only downside to it is that it's followed it's by the followed winter. followed by winter. Yeah. But, happy thing. There it is. Look, it's a balloon. The balloon festival is going on and we won't be able to go to it. Yeah, we can't afford it Yay, this year. it's yet another one of the things I won't be able to do this year. Yeah. For multiple reasons. We can't afford it, but also I wouldn't be able to walk all over the grounds right now. I can yeah. just look at it from afar and wish that there was more summer left to do things. <laughs> well, on the plus side, I was a lot more productive on day two of my indication. Yes, you were. Yay. Yeah. I worked for four and a half hours trying to, on my indication that my plan is Saturday and Sunday to work like four hours and then every other day to work eight hours like full time. Uh, and yeah, should be able to get a lot done in the game with that little push. Hopefully we find something fun to do with the time you do have off though. Yeah, well like we were gonna go out and have a picnic and watch the balloons for breakfast some morning. That's true. Ooh, so many hot air balloons. So... They're everywhere. Yeah, it's way too hard to see it. No, no, it's, it's focused. It's a creepy ass jester balloon. <laughs> Normally I'm not scared of clowns or anything like that, but that one, that one's just offsetting because it's so giant in, in the sky and I think there's a different face on each side. Yeah. <laughs> I'll see if I can crop in on it and preserve any detail, but uh, yeah, no. 
<laughs> nope. There's a comfy kitty. I have a good friend. He likes rib rubs. And head rubs. And just rubs, in general. <laughs> <laughs> We were gonna go see the balloons and have a picnic and eat some breakfast and then this morning it was way too foggy for anything to happen as you guys could see or not see depending on how you look at it. <laughs> mm. You being the sweetest. Did you force your way into my arms? Oh, hi. <laughs> she basic. suddenly decided it was time for cuddles and She's been very kissy. Yeah. You're a kissy kitty. Mm. So I'm focusing on your face. You're so nice. And in my mouth. I guess now that Fiddlesticks is gone, it's her turn, huh? Yeah, my lap is basically a territory war. Well, it's not your lap technically, that's your chest. That's true, you could just sit on my chest and he could sit on my lap and then the ferret could sit on my head, I guess. She can nibble at your ankles. Yeah, well she does that anyway. You're so warm. Mm hmm. Well, your evening was full of cuteness and cats. Mm-hmm. And we've also been watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer, and I'm doing my nails. Yeah. Oh, good girl. Thank you. My lobe feels so much cleaner now. <laughs> well. She's like licking your earring. <laughs> you goof. Well, she has to get you clean before you go to bed. Yeah, thank you. She's, You're so she's considerate. Just, yeah, she's just a helpful cat. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess I'll leave you two alone. Oh. No. <laughs> oh, oh, sweetie. Oh, yeah, it's the end of the week. Uh -huh. Okay, bye. Bye. Don't say bye.